In example three, we're going to be graphing the system of linear inequalities again, but this time these are not in slope-intercept form. We can't just look at that and be like, oh yeah, the slope-intercept is, or the y-intercept is here and the slope is this. We need to put them in slope-intercept form. So I'm gonna take this first one, I'm gonna bring it down here, and I will, let's uh, subtract Let's subtract the x on both sides. There's more than one way to do this, but this is one way that I like, or doesn't really matter. Okay, now I want y to be positive. To do that, I just multiply everything by a negative one. And since I multiplied everything by a negative number, my inequality is going to reverse. So now everything comes opposites. All right, and Let's do this one next. I will subtract x on both sides. And multiply everything by a negative one to put everything opposite. Now I'm ready to graph. All right, let's graph this first one in black. Our y-intercept is negative two. The slope is one, meaning it goes up one over one up one over one, and it does not say equal to, it just says less than, so my line is gonna be dotted. And it's less than, so everything below this line is gonna be shaded. Next, this one is at the, uh, crosses the y-axis at the three with the slope of one, up one over one up one over one. And it does say that it is equal to it. So this line is actually going to be a straight line. Sorry for how sloppy that was. And it says greater than, so everything shaded above the line. What do we notice? These two lines are parallel. How do I know that? Well, take a look at their slopes. Their slopes are the exact same. Remember that when you have the same slope, your lines are going to be parallel. They're shaded in uh, opposite directions. This has no solutions. When you have parallel lines that do not cross or blend, there is no solution for this kind of a, for this system of inequalities. But that's what the graph would look like.